Well, all right, quite the domino to fall. One of the uh, biggest questions, where was Derrick Henry going to go? And not only does he get signed, but he gets signed to the Baltimore Ravens, uh, a two-year, $16 million deal, another $4 million uh, potentially in ex uh, incentives, uh, and $9 million is guaranteed, which is not a lot. So it's basically a one-year deal with a second-year option. Um, th apparently, the Ravens, according to Schefter, tried to trade for Henry last uh, season at the you know a trade deadline. They don't make that happen, which for Tennessee, uh, bad move, right? If you weren't going to re-sign him, trade him, uh, you know, whatever you're going to get. But still, uh, th that does not happen. But the Ravens do get Derrick Henry. This is something at the trade deadline I said made sense. I was surprised it didn't happen. And for Baltimore, they do value the running game a, a good amount. And Derrick Henry is still a very good running back. I think you could argue he's maybe isn't the complete game changing like, you know, guy you build a team around running back that he once was. But even him taking a step back is still like a top five running back in football. So, you know, it's kind of one of those things where when you talk about running back value for the longest time, you kind of always had to say, well, yeah, but with the exception of Derrick Henry, Derrick Henry's different. He's way more valuable than every other running back. I don't know if it's quite that now. But I still think he's really good and should really help out this Baltimore team. And especially when you factor in, you're going to have scenarios now for Henry where, I mean, the RPO is between Henry and Lamar could be unreal. Uh, who knows how this is going to work out? Who knows how much he still has left in the tank? But, like, I'm not betting against that guy, certainly. And this could be a massive upgrade. And again, I think we saw with the 49ers who were a team that, you know, had a good running game. They didn't, you know, had a running back uh, independent game, right? doesn't matter which running back is there. They can have success. You know, whatever running back you throw in, they're going to get some good yards per carry and that stuff. Then they trade for Christian McCaffrey and it takes it to a whole nother level. To me, I'm wondering if this could happen here with Baltimore. And again, $10 million a year is not a ton of money. I mean, what? Uh, at this point, uh, the average player, if there's you know, 50, what, around 50 guys, you got 250 mil, uh, million in, in uh, you know, cap space. Uh, you're what? That's you know, if, I, my, if my math is right, it's like five million a player is essentially what you could uh, pay everyone. So getting him 10 million, uh, that's a, that's a good deal. Like that makes sense. And the the potential for greatness here is what you look towards. So I think it's a good job at Baltimore. You know, they were so good last year, but don't just say, okay, let's just try to replicate things. Find ways to get better. I think that's a smart way to do it. I think it's a great landing spot for Derrick Henry. Well done by him. Uh, so, you know, good good stuff there. And for Baltimore, if it doesn't work out, yeah, you probably made a worse $10 million signing last year, right? Like uh, every, every team, uh, you know, makes some of these signings that don't work out. For It's kind of one of those high-risk, low-reward type moves. Uh, I'm not always a huge fan of paying running backs, but in this scenario, I think it's really exciting, and I think it's the right move, especially for a team that you know doesn't have a lot of weaknesses. So, yeah, those are my thoughts. What are yours? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you, and of course, as always, thanks for watching.